Have you ever pondered over the nature of time? Does it flow like a river or tick-tock like a clock? Time, that elusive master of all existence, is a fundamental yet mysterious aspect of our lives. We experience it as a constant stream, pushing us forward from the cradle to the grave. But what is time, really? In the realm of physics, time plays a central role, especially in the Big Bang theory. This theory, widely accepted since the mid-20th century, proposes that our universe burst into existence from an infinitesimally small point. Time, as we understand it, began with that cosmic explosion, dictating the evolution of the universe, shaping galaxies, stars and planets, even life itself. But as with all things in science, theories evolve. New insights challenge old beliefs and push us to reconsider our understanding of the universe, and time is no exception. Yet, what if our understanding of time is not as solid as we think? Picture the universe not as it is now, but as it was proposed to exist post the Big Bang. This concept, the Big Bang Theory, paints a picture of a universe birthed from an infinitesimally small point, expanding outward into the vast cosmos we see today. It's a concept that captured the human imagination in the mid-20th century, but it wasn't always so. The Big Bang Theory was met with skepticism when it first emerged. Astronomers like Fred Hoyle questioned its credibility. They found it difficult to accept a universe that sprang from nothingness, from a point so tiny it defied comprehension. To them, this theory was more a leap of faith than a product of sound scientific reasoning. But as we'll see, skepticism is an essential part of the scientific process. It drives us to ask questions, to challenge prevailing ideas, and to seek evidence. And evidence was what the proponents of the Big Bang Theory set out to find. They looked at the stars, the galaxies, the cosmic radiation, seeking signs that could support this audacious theory. They found that the universe was not static, as previously thought, but was expanding. This revelation was a game changer. It suggested that the universe was dynamic, evolving, and had a history. But the question remained, if the universe was expanding, what was it expanding from? Georges Lemaitre, a physicist and astronomer, proposed a groundbreaking answer in 1931. He suggested that if the universe was expanding, then it must have been smaller in the past. Follow this line of thinking back far enough, and you arrive at a universe condensed into a single, infinitesimal point. The singularity at the heart of the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, while initially met with skepticism, opened up a new way of understanding our universe. It proposed a beginning, a history, an evolution. It painted a picture of a universe that was dynamic and ever-changing. But as it often happens in science, observations can change our perspectives. Imagine looking up at the stars and realizing that they are moving away from each other. This is precisely what astronomers began to notice as early as 1912. The universe was expanding. The stars, those twinkling points of light, weren't stationary after all. They were drifting apart, like dots on an inflating balloon. But what did this mean? The implications were vast and mind-boggling. If the universe was expanding, it suggested that everything we see, every galaxy, every star, every atom, was once compressed into a much smaller space. The universe, it seemed, had been shrinking before it began to expand. The idea was revolutionary, but it wasn't widely accepted until Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian physicist and Roman Catholic priest, made a remarkable insight in 1931. He proposed that if the universe was expanding now, then it must have been smaller in the past roll the clock back far enough, and everything in the universe would converge to a single point, a singularity. This was the birth of the Big Bang Theory. The notion that our universe began from an incredibly dense, hot state roughly 13.8 billion years ago. It was a radical idea, one that upended our understanding of the cosmos. But it wasn't an easy sell. Many scientists, including some of the most brilliant minds of the time, were skeptical. How could everything come from nothing? It was a question that baffled even the greatest intellects. Yet the evidence was undeniable. The universe was expanding, and the most logical explanation was that it had once been much smaller, denser, and hotter. This revelation led to a shift in the scientific community's acceptance of the Big Bang Theory. And so, our understanding of the universe and its origins took a giant leap forward. While the Big Bang Theory now enjoys widespread acceptance, it wasn't always the case. From its conception in the early 20th century, the Big Bang Theory faced skepticism. It proposed a universe born from an infinitesimal point, an idea that was controversial to say the least. But as observational evidence stacked up, the scientific community gradually warmed to the theory. 
By the 1980s, it had become the dominant paradigm in cosmology. Yet even as the Big Bang theory basks in its acceptance, it continues to face challenges. The very nature of science is to question, to probe, and to seek better explanations. This constant quest for understanding has given rise to a plethora of alternative theories. Each one attempts to address the unanswered questions left by the Big Bang theory. One such theory that has emerged is the causal set theory, which proposes a different perspective on time. What if time is not continuous but consists of discrete events? Imagine a reality where time and space are not a smooth, unbroken continuum, but rather a sequence of distinct individual events, like the grains in a sand clock. This is the essence of the causal set theory, a unique approach to the understanding of our universe. The causal set theory is a mathematical construct that proposes a granular, non-singular space-time. Instead of the smooth, flowing realm of space and time as we perceive it, the causal set theory suggests a universe made up of discrete, individual events. These events are linked causally, meaning one event leads to the next, creating a sequence or a causal set. This concept removes the need for a singularity, or a point of infinite density, as the starting point of the universe. The mathematical foundation of the causal set theory is rigorous and complex. It's built upon the principles of set theory and order theory, branches of mathematics that delve into the organization and categorization of elements into sets. But it's not just a mathematical exercise. The causal set theory is a bold attempt to address some of the most fundamental questions about our universe. For instance, it seeks to resolve the conflict between quantum mechanics and general relativity, two of the most successful theories in physics that, unfortunately, don't seem to get along. It also tackles the issue of the arrow of time, the reason why time seems to flow only in one direction, from past to future. The causal set theory is a young idea still in its nascent stage, with many questions yet to be answered. It lacks experimental evidence and many of its predictions are yet to be tested but its mathematical elegance and its potential to illuminate some of the deepest mysteries of our universe make it a compelling and exciting area of study. Although still in its nascent stage, the causal set theory offers a fresh perspective on the nature of time. It invites us to rethink our understanding of the universe, and who knows, it might just turn out to be the key to unlocking the enigma of time. So, is time broken, or is it our understanding of it that needs a revamp? We've traveled quite a cosmic journey today, from the inception of the universe as we know it to the challenging questions that continue to redefine our understanding of time and space. We began with the Big Bang Theory, which brought forth the idea of a universe birthed from a singular, infinitesimal point. Initially met with skepticism, it was the discovery of the universe's expansion in the early 20th century that gave this theory its first sturdy legs to stand on. Yet, the road to acceptance was long and winding. It wasn't until the 1980s that the Big Bang Theory was widely embraced by the scientific community. Despite its acceptance, however, it has always faced challenges, pushing scientists to seek alternative explanations for the mysteries of our cosmos. Enter the causal set theory, an intriguing proposition that paints a picture of a granular, non-singular space-time. This theory suggests that instead of a singularity, space-time consists of discrete events linked causally. While it is still a budding hypothesis lacking definitive experimental evidence, its mathematical foundation and potential to address fundamental questions about the universe make it a theory worth considering. So, where does this leave us? It's clear that our understanding of time and the universe is continuously evolving. The theories we've discussed today, especially the causal set theory, challenge the traditional notions we've held about time and its role in the framework of our universe. As we stand on the cusp of these exciting new frontiers, we're reminded that the universe is a place of infinite mystery and wonder. Our understanding of it, while ever-growing, is but a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of cosmic knowledge. As we continue to question and explore, who knows what new understanding of time awaits us in the future?